San Diego State looking for the win. Butler, get it in. A rope, hands it to Trammell. Three seconds, two seconds. Trammell drives. He's fouled. Darion Trammell will go to the free throw line. Shireman, the southpaw, tosses deep. The ball is knocked up in the air. For the first time in program history, the San Diego State Aztecs heading to the Final Four, redeeming their loss to Creighton in last year's tournament and defeating the Blue Jays, the final 57-56. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Capital One Tournament Central. Greg Dumble alongside Clark Kellogg, Jay Wright, Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley, and our rules analyst, Gene Steratore. I have no idea why he's here. Uh, <laughs> let's, go, let's go, Gene, directly to that final play the, the inbounds pass let's take a look at it so many things that that we were looking at we were looking at the foot possibly being over the line how much time was left but please explain to us the whole thing about the stopwatch i think the foot is fine i think what they went to review first i think they're looking to see if the ball's out of bounds who it's out of bounds on when the ball hits out of bounds in relation to if there's time remaining and then really when they're over there when you're over there you review every aspect of this play so that opens the window for the other things that we were discussing at that point now I noticed on one of our low cameras when we saw it from the opposite side it appeared that the clock had not started when the official touch took place if that's the case as I think it was in this scenario the officials have a stopwatch over at the table they will then basically go back and go old school even in all of this technology mm -hmm. right and you're going to hit the stopwatch and you're going to see what time expires from the time the touch occurred till the ball hits out of bounds. And evidently, based on what Joe Lindsay, the referee, turned around and said after he reviewed that, was that time had expired. Which renders everything else immaterial. It does. Now, this foot that's just a, that little bit of the toe that's on that black line, he's still out of bounds. The black line's out of bounds. If we're playing in bounds and our foot hits out of bounds, and we see a good look at this right now, that foot to me is still out of bounds. Mm -hmm. So we're not in any situation where he stepped on the court or anything like that. So this is all clean here from the release, in my opinion. And then I think the clock expiration is what we saw when we saw the uh, when we saw the stopwatch. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, again, you take a look at starting that shot clock or that um, that stopwatch as the play is occurring and it expired before the ball hit the ground or as the ball hit the ground. Right. I, so basically we're just saying that what it came down to was the when it touched the players on the long full court pass, when it touched right. the players, right. the man on the clock operator didn't start the clock yeah. exactly at the time it yeah. touched. Yeah. That was the only controversy that was left. I would have to think that has to be it, Coach, and in this day and age now, you know, in the old days we had one second that would show on the clock, not right. one two. Yeah. two. Right. One second in the old days could be 1.9, right. all the way down to 1.0, right? But we see 1.2 now. Right. So now we know if there's a human element there that happened to be two tenths mm -hmm. of a second, mm -hmm. which we dissect now so clearly, right. that he could have been two tenths hey, of a second. Coach, forget Maybe. what those guys ask you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he's well, an official. He's not a coach. <laughs> well, he's an official. Don't, don't do that to him. Hey, we're we not going to then worry about 0.2 seconds. What about the foul call? Listen, we can sit and dissect a bunch of plays every day, Charles, and, and, and throughout every game. And we do. Everybody does. Uh, you have to, it's an angle play. We can see the official that's inbounding on this play, the trail official. He'll step down. He's taking the basketball. It's his primary. He's creating an angle for himself. And as he followed that play in, he's the one who posts the foul. In his opinion, he felt like that left hand had displaced that shooter to a place that affected his shot. That's his judgment. That's why he's in this game. That's the decision that he made based on the angle that he had. And it was a right and call. And then we can contemplate yeah, that. But it was a you right call. You can say it's not big yeah. enough because in this game we're yeah, supposed no, to no. swallow the whistle. We can Airborne have those shooter. conversations yeah. for the rest of the week and the on into next air, week. It doesn't take much contact to create right. a foul. And I, that's my 